date of May. Good morning. It is now quarter to six. I woke up at half three because I needed to go to the toilet. And then about half an hour later, I heard a song thrush start singing and it was just starting to get light. And then a blackbird joined in and then a robin and then I heard some ducks fly over. They were quacking. Or geese, I think actually it was. Probably geese. And then the blue tit started up. And then I heard a crow and a seagull. And it's just like the crescendo of the morning chorus, which I loved. And I could have laid there for hours listening to it. But I was also really cold. I think. I don't think I slept too badly. I turned in really early. So by half nine there was like nothing else really to do so I turned in which is way earlier than I would normally go to bed so I wasn't really tired but yeah I woke up about half three and I think I probably slept for most most of that so let's say I've had five hours which is the best night's sleep I've ever had in my car so it does work um, I'd like to be able to turn over on my side a bit more because I'm just a fidgeter but um, yeah it wasn't too bad I'm just uh, boiling some water for a coffee because I just really need a coffee this morning so cold but the um, the car has warmed up pretty quick. I did want to switch the engine on because it's so peaceful here, but it's just so cold. And uh, yeah, I think that's alright. Let's switch that off for a minute. Oh, can my kettle boiling? Not too bad. I've taken less than 10 minutes. I'm really looking forward to a hot shower when I get home. Oh, I'm so bedraggled. I probably look even worse. I think my hot water's done.
It's not amazing coffee. It's out of a packet. It's an all-in-one. But it's a hell of a lot better than nothing. It does for travels. Wasn't too much condensation either overnight. Wasn't too bad. Um, and that street light was brighter than I thought it was going to be. But it wasn't too bad actually. And it was so quiet here last night. Couldn't hear anything. It was so peaceful. It's really weird because I live somewhere that's quite busy. So it's quite quiet at my parents. But because my parents' house is quite noisy. You don't get to benefit from the silence. It's just perfect here. I meant to say on my drive up from home to Keswick yesterday, I saw my first swallow. They're probably already here by now, but um, I hadn't seen any. So that was good. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. So, the booth opens in just over an hour. I've dismantled the bed as much as I can, so that at least my passenger seat is now useful again. When I get to Booths, I'm going to nip in there, use facilities, buy my bananas, then I can have some banana with my muesli. And what else am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to fold all the blankets and things properly. Because at the moment it's just a jumble on the back seat. It's out, out the way. Oh my god. I could go back to sleep again now. It's beautiful here. It really is. I've decided that Keswick is a place I could live. You literally have the mountains on your doorstep. I never get a chance to, or I'm too lazy to get out in the mornings like this. And if I'm up, I might as well enjoy the dawn chorus, what do you think? better than just sitting here doing nothing. Let's do it.
Right. <laughs> that walk this morning was amazing. Oh, it was so peaceful. So many birds and the view. Those mountain views where you could see like the Highland cows in the field in front. Just in front of those mountains was Durban Water, which is one of our, our lakes and why it's called the Lake District. I haven't been to any of the lakes since I've been here. A, because they're like a mile track and I'm doing enough walking for one 48 hour stay. Plus, um, they're very touristy. Any areas that I went to that would attract tourists definitely attracted tourists. So now we are going to Booths. They've just opened. We're going to open in two minutes. So I'm going to drive there, use facilities, buy my bananas, and then we're going to drive to the second church. Hopefully, the parking will be okay there. And uh, have a bit of breakfast. And then get researching. So let's go. I feel quite awake now. This is only like a four minute drive. So you'll have to put up with my face for four minutes. <laughs> I'll show you the drive to the church in a bit. Um, yeah, this is pretty good. I like this. I feel kind of awake now as well, which is good. That fresh air and that walk has blown a few cobwebs out from overnight. I don't feel too bad. So we'll see how we get on during the day and I'll try not to overdo it. Because I felt really rough last time. as I am not a morning person, there is nothing finer than getting up before everybody else. I need to do it more often, but it's, it's nicer here, it's something you can do here, whereas back home you'd just be walking noisy, polluted streets, and there's no joy in that. Whereas here, it's just, it's just beautiful. Keswick is so quiet, there's nobody here. Splendid. Just cars, and not many of them. This is how we like it. Get so confused. There's our booth there. I think. Yes, here we are. We made it. Now, where do we go to get into the car park? Is it there? I'm guessing so. That's the bus stop. Oh, here we are. Alright, 
right, here we are. We arrived at Booth's. Right, so switch you off and we'll go in. Not supposed to rain today, <laughs> but it's changed overnight. And when I was in Booth's, I could hear the rain roaring on the roof. It was so heavy. Um, it should hold off. And let's have a look. I'm just trying to sort out my maps. And then we shall head off. So you could see this journey instead of looking at my face. <laughs> four minute drive, four minutes and four minutes. This is perfect. So the church, as you can see when I drove in, was in front of me and I've backed into the parking spaces and this whole area is for um, people who work at the church and visitors to the church. So it's still quite early and I'm going to see what's happening with the rain. Good job, I have several pairs of shoes and I have lots of socks because this I'm probably going to get wet today. This does look pretty good. Um, so I'm going to have some breakfast first. 96p for a bunch of five bananas. That wasn't bad for a booth, I think. Um, but I couldn't pay cash because they don't accept any cash. It's all... Uh, what's it anyway? So, I've got loads of bananas. So I'm going to chop one of those up with a, in a bowl of muesli. Use up some of that milk that I haven't even opened yet, which was still partly frozen yesterday. And um, that I can get going. Looking forward to today. I think this is quite a big churchyard because the bit that I've just parked is, I think, the extension. Because the actual church is further down the road if I carried on driving. So I think this is probably the extension. I'm going to leave a note on my window just to say, yes, I'm here because I'm um, visiting the church. And then they'll leave me alone, hopefully. So, yeah, let's get on with it. Let's put some warmth on. It's a bit chilly. Right. Might as well keep my coat on. Breakfast time. Right, what do we need? Got another cheeky coffee. Oh, 
So what do we have? Yeah. Muesli. My bowl. Spoon. Milk, which is still cold. That's good. Let's turn that up for a minute so we don't make it really too warm. I don't need my knife to just chop up a banana. Here's the knife working. That's my knife. See, this is all right now. This is okay. We can do this. Crossway Church, which is where I am now, is older than I thought. I thought this had been kind of set up as an overflow when, when the, the other town church got too full. However, it says here, Crossway Church has a long history and it's thought that Christians have worshipped on this site for nearly 1500 years. That's quite old. The church is dedicated to St, and I can't pronounce this, Kentigern or Kentigern also known as St Mungo in Scotland. Well that's ironic because Anne's mother came from Scotland. Uh, it says uh, St Mungo in Scotland who had been driven out of Glasgow and set up his cross in a clearing or Thwaite in 553 AD, hence the name Crossthwaite. Love it. Right. I mean, this church is definitely old enough to house the people I'm looking for, the two key people. So Anne's husband died in 1902, Anne died in 1908. Lots of pictures inside the church. Uh, Gosh, there have been people here for a long, long time. Well, they could still be here then. For some reason, I don't think it's likely. I only think that because I've already found three of their sons here in the other church. However, I know that I think it's her grandson is buried here. Because I found his grave already. Um, 
but I'm excited to see what I find today. This church may be bigger than the other one, but I didn't realise that the churchyard at St John's have been extended so far. So this might be the same amount of work as yesterday, but I'm going to get wet. The grass, actually it's not that bad. I've been in, I've been in worse places. So we'll see. I'm going to finish my breakfast. And then get on.
Wow, that church was, um, that was really interesting. Some of those graves there were really early. I think the earliest one I found was, I think it was 1753. And I even found one grave that was from my ancestor's mother's surname, which is a Scottish border name. So I need to look that up and see if there's any connection there. But that again was really, really early. Um, it's now half past 11 and I'm knackered. So I got here before 8 o'clock. And I've walked quite a lot. It's quite a big cemetery. It's got all different sections. So you've got the original section, then you've got the added section, then there's another added section, and then there's another added section where they've just run out of space. Um, I did find five or six people who may be connected to the family. One I know is definitely a grandson, or great-grandson, I think it's a grandson. Um, again, didn't find the people that I wanted, in fact, none from that generation. So, I think she's almost certainly, or her and her husband are almost certainly in the other cemetery, just because it's closer to town. Um, and when you walk it, I mean, not so much when you drive, you know, when you drive it, it's like a four minute drive. But when you walk the distance between town centre and here, it's a lot further and you've got to imagine that people back there were mostly walking places. So they probably would have gone to their nearest church. I'll see if I could do some more research just to know if I, I'm in the right place. Um, but it's got to be one of these two cemeteries and I'm sure it's St John's, which is the other one. But it was good to get here and, and, and see who is here and now I have more names that I can look up and add to the tree, which is really good. So it's been a really good couple of days. I am really tired now. I've had some early lunch, uh, but I can feel the headaches just starting to brew where I'm getting tired because I think at max I must have had about five hours sleep last night. So I'm going to head home um, because there's no point in hanging around just for the sake of it. Much as I would love to stay here, it's lovely up here. It feels really homely, it's very peaceful, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But I can't stay, I have to go home today. And I might as well get home at a sensible time, I can unpack properly, I really want a shower. I need a shower to wash my hair because I feel like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. And then, yeah, the weekend I've got to do all my usual stuff, what two cleans to do. So I'd rather get home and end the day on good spirits and get up tomorrow feeling fine rather than staying here for the sake of it, making myself do more and more and end up really, really tired. I don't want to do that. The journey back looks pretty good. Um, yeah, looks, looks, looks good. I'd like to beat any bank holiday traffic home as well because um, it's bank holiday Monday. Today being Friday means that if people are getting away for a long weekend, they may well be going today. So, and then there's a one more little bit of there's of one more little bit of chocolate just to give me the energy, the sugar boost to get me home, and then I'm going to head off. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Doing um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I don't know how else it's going to take me to get edited. There's so much footage. It's just ridiculous. This could take a while. <laughs> is what it is. Uh, right, so, see you back home. Catch you later. Bye-bye.